guys, superstars from around the world. Welcome, welcome to my live Monday series, Sing number 10. Here we are. Oh my goodness. So happy to see you all here. Today is kind of ladies day. Yeah, we're going to really be focusing in on belting for the ladies. I see you guys signing on. Please, please say hi. Please be sure to subscribe. And when you subscribe, you can join in the chat. And I, I love seeing your questions and your feedback and your awareness. What are you aware of? In fact, what are you aware of today? It's Halloween today. The only thing I could do was I wore black and orange. So got a little bit of Halloween going on. Um, so be sure to please tell me where you're signing in from. Uh, what country are you in? And uh, what city are you in? And uh, we'll get started. This is so fun. So the thing about belting, which I found really interesting for me, when I moved to New York, I wanted to be a Broadway singer. And I already had a master's in voice from the New England Conservatory, New England Conservatory. So there I was, this classical singer, had my technique together, and I thought I could sing in different styles you know, pretty good. I thought I knew kind of how to do that because I grew up singing lots of different styles. Well, when it came to belting, they would shoo me out the door and say, you're not a belter. So I got my ducks in a row in such an interesting way and went on to play Eva Peron in Duisburg, Germany. I went on to play uh, Fanny Bryce uh, in a regional theater in Charlotte. I have done so many wonderful roles and I've been in, in shows where they needed both a soprano and a belter. So I'm so excited to share that information with you today. Emma, there you are. You're aware of how hungry you are. Well, if I could only show you my box of, you know, healthy organic crackers, because I was really hungry too. So go grab an apple, go grab something, maybe nothing dairy, because dairy sometimes gives us phlegm. But uh, grab something to eat, because we don't want to, we don't want to, you know, we're really athletes. So we have to be uh, have to have a lot of energy. And of course, good food gives us good energy. So don't forget that. Hey, Roseanne, greetings from the Netherlands. There you are. Thanks for reminding me. So happy you're here. How's it going there? Jada, you made it. Hi. I know you're in New York State, but you're you're not in Manhattan. So, so glad you could sign on. JV, you're continuing to suffer from soprano envy. <laughs> I'm sorry, JV. I'm going to give you some really cool tips today that are going to be connected to the women's uh, class. But um, you have such a beautiful voice, JV, and such an amazing timbre. You have nothing to be envious of. Nothing to be envious of. So welcome back and thank you for being here. Lillian, good afternoon. Uh, this is so, so great. Oh, Emma, you're in... You're in the Netherlands as well? Oh my goodness, we've got the whole gang here. This is so cool. Christy Bones in the house. Hi, honey. And uh, and Dalia, there you are. Wonderful. We've got our crew. Now, I want to tell you, you guys all have what I call your home base voice. Um, for example, for me, I, I probably started as a, my home base was a belter because my dad was an amazing singer and had me as a little girl teaching me how to belt, you know, at three years old. And I even have the tapes uh, and the videos to, to, um, to, to prove it. But I went on to study classical music. So I would say that my home base, like where I roll out of bed and want to make sure my voice is in great, great vibrant health from my home base would be classical. So I was thinking about you guys today. Lillian, I was thinking about you. And I think your home base you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I would say something like a folk singer, like you've got this beautiful folky timbre and, uh, but this is not to say you can't sing in any styles. The reason I'm saying this is when you have your home base really honed and then you can go anywhere. You can go to super opera soprano, you can go to Broadway belter, you can go to all different kinds of styles that you want. Now, Christy Bone, I thought of you too, because you already have, we've worked a lot together. So you already have the soprano. I think your home base is a big Broadway belter because boy, when I heard you belting in your kitchen on that video, my Lord, so awesome. 
Uh, but you, you're you able to go off and be a soprano as well. Would you agree, Christy? Do you think your home base is a belter and then you also do soprano? Or would you say it's the other way around? So Lillian agrees. Yeah, I, you know, you're my Eva Cassidy. I mean, I used to say Ava Cassidy, but I found it's Eva. Eva Cassidy, you're, you've got this folky, amazing, and your connection is so beautiful. So today... I want to take you a little further just to, for you to understand um, where you can go with your belt voice. You, uh, it's only to see we're kind of lifting up the engine hood and seeing what's what's under the hood, seeing what's in you guys. Each of you is a race car and I want to see what you've got and then you can hone it any way you want. I always I always think of the great Linda Ronstadt who. I mean, in my in my day, she was the most important pop star, one of the first women to really go out and have a tour where a woman was a headline headliner as a rock star. And as many of you might know, she went on to play Mabel in Pirates of Penzance on Broadway in Joe Papp's theater. And she she had these chops where she could do soprano. And I love reading about her and that she says that those soprano chops that she learned how to really hone that and live in that area, it only helped her pop voice. It's like when I learned how to belt, uh, and I'll, I'll share a little bit of the story with you today. I want to get to work. But um, I went off and I was in the chorus of, of Evita in Germany. I did the world tour. It was starring the wonderful Florence Lacey. And um I first was just in the chorus singing soprano and doing my belting. And then they later made me her understudy. And then I got to go on and do the role in Duisburg, Germany. Um, but I remember coming back home and going to my both my voice teacher, Joan Heller, which is the person who put all of my soprano together. Uh, many of the technical things we talk about here, she gave me. And I went to a vocal coach that I had, this wonderful classical pianist. And I said, I was doing my classical work with him. I said, okay, I'm a little nervous because I just got back from playing Eva Peron. Uh, is my voice okay? Because you know how many voice teachers say belting is bad for you. You know, I'm sure some of you have heard that. Well, it's a myth. Let's just know that that's a myth. If you're doing it right, it's a myth. And he turned to me and said, Mary, your voice is better. So just like Linda Ronstadt, her doing soprano for the first time made her rock voice even better. Me doing belting for the first time made my soprano voice even better. Now, there are tools that you have to do. And if you don't do these tools, you, you know, you could ruin your voice. Anybody can ruin their voice if you don't have the right tools. So there we are. Yeah, Joy, she was genius doing maybe. You, could, you should look it up on um, YouTube. She's, uh, I don't know, one of the most inspirational women I've ever, ever known. And I feel like when I would listen to her belt, I would osmosis that vibration, which what we're going to talk about today, which helped me, really helped me. Okay, so shall we get going? Yes. Uh, so as we go, will you just pop in the in the chat? What do you think your home base is? Lillian agreed with me that she's probably, you know, in the folk uh, home base. I don't think you, you responded yet. Christy, what do you think your home base is? Uh, Emma, I think you're probably a Broadway voice. When I heard you, I think you've got this wonderful Broadway voice. That would be your home base. What do you think, Roseanne? And JV, you are a marvelous Broadway baritone, bass baritone. What a low, special voice you have. Really an amazing timbre. Um, and Delia, what, what do you think your, your home base is? Okay, so first things first. If we don't have the first three elements really good. And I'm looking for my cards now. Let me get them. Yeah, because you know, I talk about this all the time. But it's like a domino effect. If we don't have the inhale, the breath, if we don't have that in the right zone, we can't belt. If we don't have the support, not going to be able to do it. And support meaning super belly button, which we're going to get to right now. So we're going to just warm up the voice. The other really thing, important thing to understand is wherever your home base is, we're going to always start with a lip trill exercise. You can do lip trills, tongue trills. But what I was going to say is we need to do the full range. When I was playing uh, Fanny Bryce in Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, 
it was such a special cast. And oh, I, I tell you, you know, sometimes these regional companies, you guys, they, they can be the best experiences you have in your life. And this was one of them. And I remember one night thinking, you know, I'm not singing any soprano in the show. Why should I warm up my soprano voice? I should just go belt, you know, I'll be belting all night. It'll be easier. Well, that particular night, I mean, it went okay, but it was, had more effort. There was more effort in my singing that night. So what, what I learned was, it's like a ballet, let's think of a ballet dancer. It, would they stretch just halfway? And let's say, oh, I'm not doing the splits tonight, so I just won't even stretch that much. I'll just go halfway. No, they're not going to have that, that, that full engagement of their body. So we want the full engagement of our, of our instrument. So then we can go anywhere. Yeah, Chrissy says she's a, a belter. Yeah, there you go. So home base is really fun because then you can roll out of bed and get your home base warmed up and then we can go anywhere. Emma, yeah, I think you're a Broadway gal. And uh, perfect. Okay. So here we go. We're going to, what we're first going to do then is we're going to warm up our, our full range. So that is important as you're getting ready for your belt voice. So Alicia says, I'm not sure my home base because I was trained classically, but I have a loud voice and I've learned to belt. I've realized I might suit my voice better, but I'm not as skilled in it. Okay. That's fair enough. So you might be like me that I sort of started as a belter, but then I trained as a classical singer. I certainly had belting in me, but I didn't know the tools. And it sounds like, Alicia, you too need the tools today. So pay close attention because I think this is going to be really um, uh, hopefully spark something really in you that you'll understand where to go with your voice, both, uh, both classically and belting. Hey, Ronnie Lee, great to see you. Woo, you're going to be in New York soon. You guys know I have my... My um, November 15, 2022 at the Triad Theater Off-Broadway, we're all going to be together with my master class. So be sure to go to triadnyc.com and you just scroll down to November 15 and get your tickets. It's going to be a full house. I've got my VIPs who got their tickets the first day. You guys are all up front. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. So Delia's not quite sure. Maybe classical, not belting. Okay. So I think, you know, um, classical voice, or you could just call it um, soprano. You could just say, I just have a soprano voice. I do choir. My home base is soprano. I don't really know how to get those big belt notes. So that's fair enough. I like that. Yeah. So Roseanne, you, you enjoy, I think that's a great way to figure out what your home base is. What, what songs do you love to sing? So you love to sing Broadway songs. So chances are you've got kind of that Broadway voice. It's not necessary to know right away what your home base is, but I think I, I, I kind of love that question because I think it'll really help us. Yay, Ronili, I'm sending you hearts back. Uh, I know, Emma Fox. I'm sorry you can't be here too, but you'll be here in spirit. It'll be really fun. Okay, Renee, I see you're signing off soon, but uh, but I'm so glad you jumped on to say hi. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I uh, JV, I am doing a video of the masterclass. I don't think it's going to be a live stream, but we're doing a video and pictures. Oh my God, I can't wait to share it. Okay, so let's warm up. So where, where are your lungs? Here are the lungs, right? Here are the lungs. I'm wearing my, my orange and my black for Halloween. Where's the famous diaphragm? Here it is here. We don't want to focus on the diaphragm. Why? Because it's an involuntary muscle. The phrenic nerve is sending a signal to the diaphragm. So the diaphragm's moving on its own without us making it move. I can make my fingers move, but right now I'm not telling my diaphragm. I guess if I pushed and pulled, I could... I could jam it, but I'm not interested in, in jamming it. I'm interested in letting it do its work that, it's, that it was born to do. So we're going to think of the air starting at the bottom of the lungs and going down, just like when we sleep at night. Release that tummy, everybody, so the diaphragm can drop down, create the vacuum in the lungs, and the air comes in. So let's do a little inhale. That's all. Whew, just an easy inhale. Yep. Now, for those of you who say, oh, I should... My, I should think about my back. It's like, 
your back will do fine. We're three dimensional. Yeah, it'll happen. Like watch my hand here. Yeah, it does it automatically. I don't have to think about it. Isn't it better to just not have to think about something you don't have to think about? All we want to think about is releasing here so that so that the air can can drop in as that diaphragm's pushing aside the organs. That's why the tummy comes out. Excellent. Feel good? All right. So next thing's next. Support. So we're going to do the S. Remember that we want the support is going to be underneath the lungs, underneath the diaphragm. We don't want to think of supporting from the diaphragm. It's going to be underneath with these ab muscles here around the belly button, just a little like an inch below right here. We're going to do that S, move it in. We're just going to practice this kind of like you were, if you were sneezing, achoo, it would move in like that just automatically. That's what the body does. So we're just honing what the body does. I love that. Do an S. Now look, my sternum is popping out. Remember, if you're in your mirror at home, you can check this without me. Just take that easy breath here. The tummy releases out and then the belly button scoops in. Now I'm using my hands like this to because what's happened is the diaphragms contract and drop down as we inhale. When we exhale and sing, the diaphragm's relaxing, going up, and we're following it. So that's why we have sort of this, it's not a tuck, it's just a swing. Yeah. And oh, look, my sternum. I'm not even doing it, it's doing it by itself because I don't have tension here. Let's also put sunshine here. Sunshine is one of our sensory conditions. Let's just put sunshine here so we don't have any tension. Beautiful. What are you aware of? If you have an awareness, pop it in the chat. I'll keep going. Now we're going to connect that breath and support with the resonators. So we had super belly button. You guys, I'm going to have shirts at the at the Triad Theater off Broadway that say super belly button. We're going to be like a, our own little cult, a good cult, a cult of singing. Okay, so remember that belly button moving in is for protection, your power, and your vulnerability. So protection, when people say, oh, you can't belt because you're going to hurt your vocal cords. Well, if you are belting without support, which I've seen many ladies do, you are going to hurt your vocal cords. You are. So that's why we want to make sure the breath and the support are connected. Then you're in great shape. And your power, we know that belting has a lot of power in it. There's a lot of sound. So again, you have to have this connection. And it's the natural connection of our body. I, I, I get so excited about that because when I finally got this information that made sense to me, it was like, oh, it's how the body works. So we're just honing what the body already does. And that's why I could sing eight shows a week on Broadway or eight shows a week on tour and travel on my day off and be exhausted and still get through the show without hurting anything because I'm an athlete who understood breath and support. Okay, so now resonance. Resonance equals your voice. So what we're gonna do first, this is the, this is the cool thing. This is what I always call your home base. Remember, there's that word again, home base. So the, these lovely, beautiful cartilage bones, and they surround air pockets in the front of your face. Some people call it mask. I'm just saying use all of this. I call it front passage. It's like this glass bottle. Like if this was the cartilage, this is important because we're going to, we're going to take the resonance later. Uh, it's going to be important for belting. So right now we're thinking of our home base dominant resonator front passage hear that the the air pockets vibrate against the glass and everybody here has your own air pockets has your own facial structure your voice is one of a kind yes vocal cords are important in that too but that's part of your talent that's part of your gift You'll notice that a lot of opera singers have really big bones, you know, because that's part of the big sound. Good. So what do we go for? We go for sensation of vibration. So let's do the S. Now we'll do the vibration. Mm, good. 
We're doing an S and then we're taking another breath as if we're gonna do an S again, but instead we'll hum. S, S, breath, mmm, good. And chew, the reason I'm having you chew because we wanna get as much vibration as we can muster. If we have vibration, it means we have overtones. Now overtones are really important, especially in classical singing. So here's my singing bowl. So it has all these overtones ringing. Those are the tones we can't hear with our naked, naked ear. But that's the reason why an opera singer can sing without microphones, because these overtones ring. Now, if I put this against my chest or against my tummy, that's like tension. If we have tension here, the overtones and your voice won't ring. Without tension, ah, it's vibrating beautifully. So vibration is everything. We're all vibration, so this is everything. How do we not have tension there? Well, when I have you chew, that helps you not hold. If we're holding and grabbing, that brings tension and takes away those beautiful overtones in your one-of-a-kind timbre. So when I have you chew, that we were, we're just not listening to the tone. We're going to sensation of vibration. Okay, so let's try that again. S, S, mm. Chiara is here. Ciao, bellissima. Sono tanto contenta che tu sia qua. Yes. And, and uh, Chiara is coming on the 15th. Oh my gosh, we're going to sing together. Thanks for joining me, honey. Come on, jump in. So we got the S, S and then vibration. Mm. Ooh, you feel that vibration? Does it tickle? Let me know what you think. Do you have any awareness? Now we're going to go to the lip trill as you're giving me your awareness. S, S breath. You can push up like I'm doing. That makes a little more, <laughs> more fleshy. So it's easier. You can also do a tongue trill. S, S new breath. So there's two ways to do it. Or if you can do the lip trill, that's what I like. I know Jada, you're really good at the lip trill now. Remember at the beginning it was hard for you and now you can do it. It's like, it just takes a little bit of practice. If your lips don't vibrate, there could be something up with the, with the support. If you're not in your support, like if I try to push out, poo, 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 the pushing out doesn't work. Yeah, Jada remembers. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that you couldn't do it. And now you're like, you know, the lip trill queen. So it's so cool. All right. So remember, we have the front passage resonators. So now we're going to go up the scale. And what do we do? We go up the floors of the front passage. So here's my picture. Now, this is important. I know we're warming up our high notes. And you, you probably are thinking, but why is this important for belting? It's gonna be very important because it's part of the physics. Notice I'm teaching you physics, things the way that the body actually works. So it's not like do, 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 you know, it's, it's actual real stuff and that actually works and it makes it easy for you. So this is why I'm so, I get so, I get so passionate about it. And every time I teach it, I'm kind of like, oh my God, that does work. And it helps my technique as well. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Emma said, a singing teacher once taught you that wetting your lips really helps with the lip trill. Okay, let's listen to Emma. Try wetting your lips. If that helps, great. Me, not so much. But for you, hey, that's why I say, what, what are you aware of? If it's something that helps you, awesome. If your lips aren't trilling, though, please be aware of the belly button moving in. That has to lead your voice, lead the lips. Okay, so now as we go straight up, the front passage, we're going straight up the scale. And just to say on top of that, when we go higher and higher and higher, the space gets smaller. This is gonna be important for belting too, don't get me wrong. This is all connected. So we also need more energy of support for those higher notes. That's gonna be really important for your belting as well. So what do we think about the support? We don't think hold and grab. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna, it's not gonna work. It's gonna hurt you, it's gonna feel tense. 
Instead, you think of the balls that they're spinning around each other for the support. Like this energy is like, it's like a referee doing the, the timeout signal. It'll go higher and higher and faster and faster. Will, will the higher note be smaller? Will the space for a higher note be smaller or bigger than the space for a lower note? You guys are so good. You always answer this right. But I'm going to do the test here for anybody new. Here's my bottle. Yeah, Dalia, you rock. Here's the space. It's, it's not no water in it. Duh. Now, I put water in this, so that's a smaller space. So according to you, this will be higher because you said a higher note has a smaller space. Duh. Here comes the bride. That's a perfect fourth for any of you guys who are doing ear training. So, um, yeah, so it's higher. So what do we do with that information? What we do is we have to know with our mind that it's going to be a tighter space up there and we need more energy. So belly button down to support. I always have you go with these exercises, go into your legs for the high note because then it just gives you an automatically more support just doing that. We're training the body. Belly button down is support. We're training the body. We don't need to hold for high notes anymore. You know how the high notes in belting too, we get worried about singing the high note. We think we can't make it. So we hold on tight. We don't want to hold on tight. We want to release, have the belly button support do the work, and remember that it's going to be this tighter space. So let's do that together. <laughs> Good. Now let's go way high. Now, if you want to make sure that you're loose, shake this around. We're just going to move it around. We're training these muscles not to hold. If you're somebody that you feel like your shoulders get tight, your neck gets tight, your jaw gets tight, if you're moving it, you can't hold it. So that's a really good tip. But remember, we also have to have the support. And your body might not be used to it. It might say, oh, I've never done this before. So once you have the support, and you guys do, you've been with me for several lessons now, a lot of lessons, some of you. So you're understanding it, which is great. So take the risk, let it go, and really let that go smaller space. OK, now we're going to do octaves, and we're going to get to the belt. This is great for you too, JB. We haven't done anything different yet than our home base. Let's all grab a little water. I know I need some. Right? Got to stay hydrated. Awesome. Here we go. That's you, JB. That's us, lovely ladies. So, S. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our fourth wall. So the fourth wall is the imaginary wall between you and the audience. And we, we want to train already, like we're gonna be singing the songs as if you're on a stage and you're, you're private. So let's put somebody on your fourth wall. We'll put the person who, if they were far away from you, you would miss them so much. And I know Christy, you and I always use our dad because we miss them so much. And uh, by the way, guys, this is Halloween. so. Uh, just know that the veils are very thin tonight for any of you who are into the spiritual stuff and bringing your, your beloved ancestors, listen for signs. They can really communicate with you, especially tonight. That's what I've been told by my, by my spirit masters. So, um, so put somebody who you really miss or if they were far away from you, you'd miss them so much. Hey, Barbara, ciao. I'm so happy you're saying hi to everybody. You're in Milano, right? Love it. Okay, so let's put the person who you would miss if they were far away from you on your fourth wall. And if you're like, how do I put them there? Just find a point on your fourth wall. It could be a light, a poster. It could be a dot on the wall. It could be a, a plant nearby. And you're just going to see the person's physical feature, their strongest physical feature there. And, uh, and so like for my dad, it would be his face or his eyes. I'd see him there. Then think of their strongest human quality. What would that be? 
So my father was a genius. So I'll just remember his genius and uh, put him there. Okay, so now, and I have three genius brothers, by the way, and my one genius little brother just won, the, he's a robotics king, and he just won um, a Lifetime Achievement Award at BattleBots today, yesterday. So anyway, I'm a very proud sister right now. So anyway, genius in the family. My uh, my other brother is a genius artist, and then my big brother is a genius businessman. So I'm here, I'm surrounded by beautiful geniuses. I love my brothers. Okay, here we go. So we'll do an S, and then we'll go. Let's do this with the hands. S. We're doing the S. Pretend you're going to take another S, but instead do the lip trill. Again, S. Now, this is advanced. I usually just do a fifth. We're doing the whole octave this time because you guys are so good. S. Breathe. Okay, it's going to a higher floor and a smaller space, right? Really keep that in mind. Now, this one is an E natural. E natural is a passaggio note. So really think of compartmentalizing that top note. Don't let it be open and wide. It's got to be very tight. S, lots of energy of support. S, lots of legs. Now, for the ladies, the next note's going to sparkle more. JV, you can stay in that tight space feeling. But ladies, it'll sparkle. S. Here we go. You do it. Yeah, one more. Yes. Yay! There's your high C. My B flat's great. Above that, I'm not so good. But uh, this is awesome. So, so good. All right, so now we've warmed up our high notes, and now we're going to go into the belt land. All right? What are you aware of right now? E and B are passaggio, Jada. That is correct. And we're going to talk more about the E and the B today. In every range, an E and a B, those notes, for everybody, let's say 90, 95% of everybody or 90%, there probably are some people that maybe it adjusts somewhere. But basically for everybody, B natural and E natural are the passaggio notes. And it's very interesting to see how the composers write in those notes because they know that the passaggio notes and they, they're harder to sing and they're more exciting to hear. So that's why I made a, a suggestion, uh, just a little pin in it to understand that the passaggio note is something we're gonna look at. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's just do one little thing where we're gonna throw the ball. Let's do the soprano. We're gonna do, uh, she sees me, S, S, listen once, it's a, it's a full octave. She sees me. Okay, throw that to me, S, S. Breath, she sees me. Good, we're gonna do one really high. S, listen once. She sees me. Throw that to me. S, 
chases me. Okay, so now we've got our soprano, our, our extension, everything's there. All right, ladies. Now, JV, this isn't for you. What women have or what men and women have is a chest voice. Men, of course, you have a chest voice too. We're now gonna go away from the front dominant front passage resonator. We are gonna go only to our chest voice resonator. We're gonna do away with this right now and we're just going to explore only this resonator. We're not gonna sing songs right now. We're just gonna explore and see what's there. Now, men, if you do this, yeah, you've got a resonator here. The thing that's interesting is because of hormones, your sound doesn't change. For me, as a woman, because of our hormones, our voices, when we go into only chest voice, it changes completely, switching it from head voice to chest voice. Let me make a demonstration. So I'm going to use my dominant resonator right here. So that's that's here, my dominant resonator. I'm in I'm in my front passage resonator. Let me do that again. You can hear my vibration here. I feel it there. I have my breath and support. Now I'm going to do the same note and I'm going to choose a different resonator. I'm going to choose only my chest resonator. Now, notice I didn't say I changed my breath and the support. The breath and the support stay exactly the same. I saw That's only ringing here. Let me go back to my, my head voice resonator. I saw I saw okay, so that's what we're doing to make it really, 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 really healthy. We have our breath and our support, and we're only going for sensation of vibration. We want all of this to vibrate without any stress on it. So I love talking about we're going to make it like Tevia from, from Fiddler on the Roof. We're going to shake it up. Okay. Here comes the first exercise. This exercise was given to me actually by my classical teacher, Mark Pearson. He was my awesome teacher from the New England Conservatory when I was getting my master's in vocal performance, only classical voice. And he said, it's very important that you also have your chest voice available. And I say this on my master voice teacher reacts, even Maria Callas says, said that Sopranos, don't be scared of your chest voice. We want to use it. So in other words, why are these teachers saying that if you're in your chest voice, it's dangerous? It's not dangerous. We just have to make sure we have our breath and support. And in Broadway and in pop music, we bring up the chest voice. Um, we bring it up higher than perhaps a classical singer would do. But this is our moment. So let's figure it out. I'll give you the tools. So we're going to say NG. Mm ga. Okay, say that with me. Mm ga. Okay, so I just looking at Chrissy says she's tense today. So keep breathing, keep doing your your I'm glad you're walking around. That's good. Keep get doing some S's, get your legs connected to your support. Because it's kind of like a stream of water. If the stream is if there's no if water still it starts to smell, you know, if you move the water, it cleans it. So same thing with us. We got, when you don't feel, when you feel tense, you move it. If you move it, it can't, it can't contract. So great, honey. Thank you for sharing that and pushing this aside. Okay. <laughs> now, ladies, only here. Okay. We're going to do the same breath to an S. Listen once if you want. Mm -hmm. Only vibrating here. Let's try that again. S, same breath. 
Now notice I'm getting in my legs when I say ga. Ga. And I'm doing tevia here. We're letting this all go. We only want this to rattle around. We're going to get as much vibration, just like we did with our soprano with a singing bowl. We want it to vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. Now, if I was to mix that, JV, you can do that with us. You're going to go, just do that right now. Ladies, we're going to only go chest. Here we go. S. Take a breath. Belly button moves in. Good. Okay. Now, some of you, you're young and you might not be able to get those notes. Don't worry. If you can go lower, great. If you can't, don't worry about it. This doesn't mean anything. Let's do two more. S. Breath. One more. S. Barbara, this must be very easy for you. This is your voice. Okay. Now we're going to throw this big beach ball under. You know how I do my soprano stuff when we're doing this resonator? I always have you throw the ball over. That's because I want these resonators to get engaged. Now we're going to throw under because we only want the chest voice. Only, only chest voice. Let's give it a try. We're going to do I saw Ma, and I saw Ma is going to live down here, okay? We have, we have to have this beautiful support. Do an S, S breath, and with an H, I saw Ma. Good. Let me show you one thing. So this is great for Christy, too. You're going to get in your legs when you sing ah, I, hi, like, like hi. We're going to not have a glottal stop. We're going to use an H. Hi, then throw under this big beach ball and come down. So here we go. Listen once. Hi, sa, ma. And then come back to ma. Good. Here we go. S, s legs. Hi, sa, ma. Hi, Sama. Don't mix. Don't let it go. Hi, Sa. I saw. And it's going to sound horrible in your ear. Maybe if you can have a recorder going, please do that. Because what you hear is not what we hear out here. I promise you. So many belters, when they're belting for the first time, they're like, oh my God, I sound like I'm shouting as hell. Don't worry. It's, we're, just getting, we're just getting that resonator. Okay, here we are at an F. We're going up to an F, and this is, we can be all chest here. Here we go. S, S, S breath. Hi, Sama. Good. Now, we can go up all the way to a B flat only in chest. Yep, that's the lady's body. That's how it works. And so please trust, if you have your support, you have to have your support and you can't be grabbing here. That's why Tevia is so important. You have to make sure that this is shaking out and you've got this. And it should just feel like this vibration here. That's all. And if it hurts, then stop doing it because I can't see you and adjust you. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you were here, I'd be able to adjust you. But please give me your comments, Barbara. Yeah, I knew you would love this. This is so your voice. And uh, you've been doing this for so long. You roll out of bed with this. Okay, so we're going up. Here's the G. We can do this easily. S, S, S breath. Hi, so There you go. So it's only chest. You're going to keep a lid on it. You're not going to let it rise. Just let it be here. Lots of belly button. Lots of legs. S, S oh, sorry. S Breath. Hi, Saba. Woo, S. S. Hi. Let's do it again. Sorry. S. Breath. 
Hi, summer. You can even scoop up to it. Just make sure you come from under, not on top. S. Hi, Woo. How you doing? That was B flat. And in B flat, you can do only, only chest. Okay, so I have to tell you my quick story. So when I was auditioning for Les Mis a hundred times and I was a soprano first and I kept having vocal coaches said, oh, just mix when you do shame. shame. So I'd go into the audition, I'd get, and I would do that and they would say thank you and they'd send me home. And I didn't know what was going on. Uh, finally, come to find out, when I went to a vocal coach guy named Phil Reno, who was uh, the conductor for Cats at the time, he wasn't a vo voice teacher, but he knew the sound and he understood. He's the guy who told me, Mary, you can belt, women can belt to a B flat. And then it starts mixing. Okay. And we'll talk about that next, I promise. So then it starts mixing and I'll tell you about that. But what he said was, I had this Les Miserables book and it was gray and it was the, it was the selections of Les Miserables, but it was gray. In fact, I have it somewhere here still. And he goes, Mary, throw that away and go buy the white one. The white one, for I dream to dream, goes to the B flat. The gray one goes to a B natural. You can't, you can't belt in full a B natural. Then it's a, it's that instead is a is the passaggio note and has a tiny smidge of mix in it. That's just the way it is. Okay, so this is our tool to find out how we can adjust and get these big lower notes that really sound like belt. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make I Dream to Dream Shame, which is just a five note scale. Da, 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 da. It's not even like a real melody, it's just a scale. And we're gonna do a little exercise to bring that up and see if you can get your high B flat in only, only chest voice. You ready to try? How are you guys doing? You're very silent because I'm talking a lot, right? Okay, so we're gonna make this the exercise. So you're gonna stand and you're gonna see the person who you'd love to see today on your fourth wall and you miss them so much and you're just going to go to this place of shame where it's like, I need you here. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I need you here so much. Or somebody that's walking away from you. Good. Pam, I'm glad you're enjoying this. Okay. So we have the S. And we're just going to do it on A. Ah. Okay. Let's try that S. Ah, good. Now, Oz living here. Now we're just going to, through that A channel, we're just going to use the A vowel. Just A. She. Not Shayim. We're not going to go to the E. Just A. So see your person. S. S. Breath. Only chest. She. So at the very end, you can put the A. Okay, here we go. S. And just let it only be here. S. You did the B flat. Wow. Okay, we're going to do the. We're gonna do the song now, just that much. How you doing? Did it happen? It may take a little, you can always rewind the video and go back and do it some more, but you've gotta have that support and you've gotta let this rattle. Okay. So let's try But the Tigers Come at Night. And um, so we wanna keep this more in chest voice down here. But the tigers come at night. Now the low note, just let it live around your mouth. Don't go for that. Uh, don't do that, okay? But when we get to shame, you're going to go only chest. Here we go. Thank you. 
to the B natural. Well, on my own goes to a B natural. What do we do there? Great, Alicia, I'm so glad it felt great. This is excellent. That means you have your breath and support connected, you're leading it and you're getting out of the way and you're only letting it ring here. Even for the B natural, we wanna think it's only chest. It will mix, you don't have to worry about it. Just think only chest. Great, Lillian, I am not surprised. I'm so glad Emma Fox, excellent. So this next section, we're gonna go, um, so I'll just sing the section and then we'll go back, okay? Now, that I'm talking, what is that note? Ah, it's a B flat. That I'm talking to myself. Now, why did Bouville and Schoenberg write these, write these particular phrases in B flat? I believe for shame he did that because it's a yell. It's, it's, it's a scream. It's not an excitement scream. It's a painful scream. Shame. I'm talking to myself and not to him. So let's try that again. Okay, so let's do an exercise with this. Blind is a passaggio note. Oh, they wrote blind on the one of a harder note to sing and a more exciting note. Why? because I know that he is blind. Before she says, I'm talking to myself and not to him. I know that he's blind. Ah, that is more uh, of, a, of, a, of a freak out. You know, it's like, he doesn't see me. I need to be seen. She has her need. Okay, so we're gonna do a little exercise throwing the ball under with straight tone. So we're gonna start here. So I'm going to throw this to you, you're going to throw it back. Only chest voice, nothing here, nothing, only here. I know that he is blind. Throw that to me. I know that he is blind. Good. So here we go. S, I'll throw it to you. I'm throwing under. I know that he is blind. Notice blind, I'm reaching with my arm under. Only chest voice. Sing that to me, S, S, breath. I know that he is blind. Good, here we go. I know that he is, only chest. Don't start, I know that he, I know that he, I know that he is blind. I could change the resonator and it would be a different song. Only chest, S, S. I know that he is blind. Good, that's, that's, that's the B, natu B flat, so it's only chest. Keep thinking only chest, don't try to mix. It's gonna be fine, but you have to send it through a laser beam, okay? Here we, let's try it through the way laser beam. Now, is it gonna be a bigger space as we go up or a smaller space? Ah, a smaller space, you guys know this. So even from under, I know that he is blind, blind. It's not blah, yeah, S, S, breath. I know that he is blind. So this is my laser beam. Please do exactly the movements I'm doing, okay guys? This is really, really helpful. Let's do one more above that. Sorry. 
to only do chest in this note. It's just a physical thing, but we're faking them out. They don't know that we don't have full chest because we're, our, we're adding a little chest and you're making it straight tone and notice we're not doing overtones. If I was doing classical, I know that he is blind. That's trying to get all these overtones ringing. What we're doing is we're squishing the overtones. We don't want those overtones in this style. And the reason that it's healthy is because you've got your support. If you didn't have your support, you could hurt yourself. So if it's hurting, please, please, I'm not with you, so I can't, I can't adjust you. But this is, this is the thing. If you go to that tighter space, like the laser beam, it's going to be really easy. Bye, Delia. Watch the rest later. I'm so glad it's fun. Thank you, honey. Happy birthday, Grandma. Okay, let's try this. We're going to go a little higher on this, higher than the song. I know that he is blind. Here we go. S. Let's, you can listen or do it with me. S. I know that he is blind. Want to try that again? Here we go. S. I know that he is blind. Yes, Joy, that's a C. I'm doing this on purpose. Why? Because the end of the note, end of the song. The world is full of happiness that I have never known. That's really hard. And if we're getting this on blind, you're going to get it no problem. Let's do the, let's do the B natural. You're going to throw the ball. Okay, I want to, I want to play the piano with us. Okay, so you're going to go. And so really go under and throw the ball under into that laser beam. Here we go. Now when we come down, make sure you go into true chest. If you go, um, still I stay, there's a way for us. And suddenly those all that belt note that you did up there doesn't sound like belt. Every time we go under the B flat, we want to get back to our chest. Now let's jump to the end with that heart, the C thing. Keep hydrated. <clears throat> Going to be squished. We don't want any overtones. You're going to enter from under, but you can't bring up full chest. It's impossible. So make sure that it's a real laser beam and bring as much chest as you can, but don't try to do only chest. It won't work. Okay. Let's, let's do an exercise with that too. Okay. The world is full of happiness. You're going to go from under, S. The world is full of happiness that I have never known. So that's full chest. Let's go a little higher. That's only an A. The world is full, S. The world is full of happiness that I have never known. That's from under. That is your full chest. That's the B natural. Let's do. Let's go to the the passaggio note. It's going to go this way. Not going to go wider. It's going to go smaller. S. The world is full of happiness that I have never known. Good. Now we're going to keep it in that same zone. You just got. You need a lot of energy here and get a little tighter. This is a real tricky note. The C. Here we go. Breath. The world is full of happiness that I have never known. And then you can have soprano come back in or whatever you want. Three different ways. So the 
there's actually a little bit of head voice in that one. Wowie, zowie. Oh, I'm so glad this is hitting you guys. So on the C, is it makes mixed to more nasal tone? I don't want you to think nasal on the C. It might be, I don't know, I don't have you here. As we go higher now above C, that's when it'll be that yan 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 idea of more nasal. So, but I would say no. I would say go, don't think nasal, think more narrow. Narrow laser beam. It's still, it's under here. Now, when we go to the super high stuff, which uh, we're coming to now, I'm gonna just flip over to Evita right now and show you something, which is, which is your question, Joy. This is from Evita. Um, he supports you for he loves you. Understand, it's a new Argentina. It's this crazy high E. Now, if I do it in soprano, this is what it would sound like. He supports you for he loves you. Understand he is one of you. If not, how could he love me? So that would be soprano. Now, if I'm changing to a high belt, High E, that's also a passaggio note, by the way. That is above the C that we just did. What we want to do now is take away those overtones. I don't want that beautiful soprano overtone. I want it to be this tight, crazy, strident, small space. So now we're high enough that we can think more nya, nya, nya. Um, uh, so if that translates to nasal for you okay uh but kind of yin 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 uh so it would be this and this is the same floor now i talk about floors it's the same floor as a soprano there's no chest in it there's absolutely no chest in it we're faking them out the only thing i'm doing is squishing those overtones so that it doesn't sound like soprano it's a poor truth he supports you for he loves you. Understands you is one of you. If not, how could he love me? And then as I go down below the B flat, I go into true, true chest. Because if I went, if not, how could he love me? Then suddenly the high notes don't sound like, uh, like belt anymore. So do you understand what I'm saying? He supports you for he loves you. So it's really this tight, tight space. So uh, let's go, let me just see what I have here for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so Evita is really a harsh uh, example because Eva Peron, it is this strident, unbelievable uh, train, you know, that keeps going into this, particular style of this high, crazy, wacky, uh, powerful, high stuff. Uh, wow, Chiara, you are always so amazing. Thank you, honey. It's, uh, if we have our support there, it is going to be powerful and gracious. You know, it's going to have, it's going to have that sound. So, um, really, really cool. Yes, Joy, super tight space. That's what I would call it. Um, the nasal thing, way, 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 way up high, you know, those highest notes, the E's, F's, G's, you can think about that up there. I don't want you thinking of the middle notes, like the B naturals and the B's and the passaggio with nasal. What I've discovered, this is another tidbit, what I've discovered when I've been teaching around the world, in Australia, in Italy, in Portugal, what everybody seems to do is they mix everything. Their soprano is mixed. Their, their belt is mixed. Everybody's scared of using these, these resonators uh, or they just don't know. So what this is why I love to say, this is our home base resonator. This is where we speak from. Yeah, even when I'm talking to you, other resonators are involved, but this is my home base um, dominant resonator. Now I'm switching for the ladies. We can go only to the chest resonator. And now as we go up, we're discovering that middle part is the mix. And now we're going way above and there's no chest in it. 
but we're, we're faking them out. What we're doing, once again, is taking away the overtones. We're squishing it so it's very striped. So if we are to do rainbow high, let's do a little bit of rainbow high. Duquesne, it's amazing how the physical movement tells the voice what to do. I never realized how much singing was a full body experience and the gestures vocalists do aren't just for dramatic effect. Well, you know, it's interesting uh, what you're saying. I love that. Um, I love teaching. What we're doing is we are training our body. And uh, one of my beautiful students, she's the star of the of Melt, the rock star in Melt Band. And, and she... We used a gesture of her, of her sending with her arm like that, and suddenly her high belt just flew out. And you're right; it looks so. It's also part of the storytelling. It's not like, it's it's not like faking it. It's like you're also in the storytelling. But this is why I'm so into throwing the ball when we're training. Throwing the ball is so important because remember, my my method is called the revolutionary send. We have to be sending. And so often when we're studying voice, you know, I was, I was taught like this too. We're, tr we're sitting at home trying to make your voice sound good. And instead, when you're telling a story, when you're using your fourth wall, using the person, sending with your technique, it all comes together. It's just so cool. So, yes, there may be gestures um, that that they they do, but they're, uh, what's mostly important is the storytelling so those gestures will often come through that but you're right in my in my training this throwing the ball especially throwing it under for our for everything under b flat is so important so let's look at rainbow high okay to that C. Now, I think the C for, for many of us, I know for me, that's a really hard note. Like at the end of uh, Aida does that in um, uh, This is the Moment, but I don't know. Easy as life. Has life. It's everything has to come from under. If you go, has life, 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 there's all these different possibilities. So we want to come from under. So when Ava Perón sings, I don't really think I need the reasons why I won't succeed. I haven't started. So we have to start in our chest voice. If you start in mix, I don't really think I need the reasons why I won't succeed. Then it's not in the style. So we have to come from under. I, just sing that with me. I don't really think I need the reasons why. Try that. I don't really think. Now we have to have our support, yeah? So now, going from under up there, I don't really think I need the reasons why I won't succeed. I haven't started. Let's get this show on the road. Let's make it obvious. Peron is off and rolling. So you've got to keep it in the chest. So here she goes into the seas. Let's see what Isabel says. I didn't realize that we are one hour later in Europe. I'll see the recording. Sure, Isabel. Sorry, honey. No worries. Um, oh, I see. You came on a little late. No worries. Um, okay, so here we are. So it starts on a G. I came from the people. So we have to stay in the chest from under. I came. It's not, I came from the people. I came from the people. So you're entering from under. I came from the people. They need to adore me. So Christian, they are me. Put my hands and my toes. So we want to really stay in only chest here as much as you can. That's where our focus is. Until we get to this high thing. We're going to get to the next. I need to be dazzling. I have to be Okay, so this is where it changes. So rain is in full chest. Go high is in this tight space up here on that higher floor with no overtones. Rain, go high, rain, go high. They both have excitement and so must I. So it's a very nyan, nyan, nyan. 
rain fight. So what we can do is use this, and this is good for you, JB, for your high notes. It's a karate chop. Rain fight, rain fight. They must have excitement, and so must I. Okay, so let's see if we can do one more. Oh, let's do this. Because that, that is so like strident. So I wanted to end with this song. Um, this is awesome Jekyll and Hyde. Yep. Amazing Frank Wildhorn, who, you know, his, his songs are more on the poppy side. They're more on the Barbara Streisand poppy side. So there's all these different stylings. I just was demonstrating Eva Peron, which is like super strident, super crazy. So the, the main rule though, that I want you to understand is B flat and under, really think only chest voice. And then when you go above that, it starts getting smaller. Now, Frank Wildhorn, however, this is more of a poppy and it's got some more mix in it as the style. So someone like me, who's classically trained first, I always have to still remember to enter from under, enter in the chest voice, or else I'll automatically enter on top. So for you gals that are, that are sopranos first, keep that in mind. We want to keep kind of entering from under. Um, and then we'll find our way in these beautiful higher notes, and we'll make it seamless, like I promised. So let's give it a try. Yes, Lillian, isn't it beautiful? Uh, the score, this is one of my favorite songs in the score. Okay, so, so get out your someone like you. So it starts, um, it starts low, you know? So, so we can, we don't have to push into our chest voice. I peer through windows. That's not what we're after. <laughs> So this can be where I would call our talky place. So it's not soprano like on top, like I peer through windows. So what makes us more classical is adding vibrato to everything. So this will be more straight tone and more just straight from your talky place. So let's put that person who we miss so much on our fourth wall and we're going to sing this song to them. Do you guys know someone like you? I think you do. So I'm just going to go through the song in the in and remarking about the the belt where we are in our belt voice. So right now we're going to be more in our talky place. I so here we are. It's just an A. So we're going to just enter from under and straight tone with a little scoop, but stayed inside. So for those of us who are sopranos first, who have all this vibrato stuff, the, the thing that will make it more pop and more belty is to just straight tone from under, but stayed inside. Inside doesn't have to be inside like it does for Eva Perron, but you have to have this beautiful talky place. But stay inside. The past was holding me, keeping life at So again, I'm I'm really focusing on just letting the the vibration of my chest voice just have have some flexibility. The past was holding me, because what I my my home base I'd be. The past was holding me. Holding me, holding, coming from under instead of on top. Holding me, holding me, holding me. Can you hear the difference? The past is holding me, keeping life away. I wonder, lost in yesterday, wanting to Wanting to fly, but scared to try. Okay, so that's sort of your recitative. It's just you talking and, and letting it live. And this this would be Lillian, this would be your home base. Like where you sing from 
you don't have to do anything I'm talking about because your voice automatically does this. Some of us, those of us though, who have a different home base, that's why I was bringing that up, we have to think in a different way. So now the chorus, we're gonna go from under. Someone like you. So this is gonna be straight tone and only chest. Then someone like you found someone like me. Let's just do that. Then someone like you found someone like me. Then suddenly I would never be the same. Okay, so now we're going up to that place where it's going to be uh, taking away the overtones, squishing it, and going very na narrow. Nothing is the same. Let's try that. Suddenly, suddenly, nothing is the same. So here we are on this floor, but we're going really narrow and straight tone. Nothing is the same. Good, here we go, let's try it. So someone like you, all chest, and we get up there above the B flat, we're gonna go narrow, straight tone, no vibrato, and really a laser beam. Someone like you, chest, because they're the wrong lyrics in the book, and then I sing the right lyrics. Okay. Wow. So as you come down, just make sure you get back into your chest voice, okay? Let's see if I can remember these lyrics. It's like you took my dream. It's like you took my dream. Really talky voice. If I can remember the lyrics. You reached inside of me. Make sure you go real chest. Don't, don't just do only mix even the notes below. Make them be a little more chesty. For example, now that's a B flat on top. Someone like you. So if we make this really chesty, it's gonna make those high notes really exciting because when you come back down in full chest, it makes the whole thing sound like it's belt. I, I know that sounds crazy, but that is the key. Let me show you the difference. Let's try it. Someone like you. more soprano-y, like more head voice-y, rather than going to the chest, this is what it would sound like. Someone like you found someone like me and suddenly nothing would ever be the same my heart would treat me and I'd feel so alone. Now the high notes 
are the same, but I didn't give that chest voice to the bottom notes below the B flat. Let's go back and do it now with that in mind. It's kind of like coloring. You wanna color with your chest voice in those lower notes. And then as you go high in those higher floors, smaller space in the laser beam, you're all set. It's gonna sound amazing. Wanna give it a try? So here's the key change. Someone like you, still, still straight tone because it's pop. This is wild one. We gotta do straight tone. One, two, three. Someone like you. and I'm squishing it. Feel so alive, feel so alive. And then you can do whatever you want. It can be a little head voice because it's quiet and lovely. Let's do the whole thing. Okay? So we're gonna do, we're not gonna do the second verse. We'll just do the first verse and we'll go into the key change. Um, let's have a drink of water. Any quick question before we do it all together? Yeah? You have to run. Bye, sweetie. Good. So let's do this because I know you guys have to go. I do too. All right. I'm just so excited to sing this song. So let's drop into the need for our person on the fourth wall. We miss them so much and we're sending them this song and, and you know, we want to personalize those lyrics. We've talked about that in the past, but just right now, just from your need, your need to be loved by this person, just, just tell them your truth. And the beginning is talky and then we're going to add that chest and we go high. We do the laser beam straight tone. Okay, one more time. Here we go. I
Great work today, you guys. Oh, well, you have to send me Barbara. She, you recorded it in Japanese. This score is yours. Uh, there's nobody that sings the score like you do, honey. I would love to hear this in Japanese and in English and in Italian. Um, yay, Emma. You had a good time, honey. You, does it make sense, you guys? I know it's a ton of information, but that's how I teach belt. And uh, it's now online for you to, to take those uh, techniques and, and use them as you can. And uh, hopefully we'll be in person. I know we will be on November 15 off Broadway, the triad nyc.com. So please come by if you can there. But I'm hoping to really do master classes with this just for the ladies. And uh, JV, what I wanted to tell you is those high notes. Remember those high notes that I talk about the laser beam? You can keep thinking of that too for the men. Those high notes for men in your, even in your classical voice, it's going to be that tighter space. So that's really great for the men. Oh, Alicia, I'm so glad this made sense. Yay, Joy. Oh, I'm so happy. If you guys want to send me videos on Instagram, you know, on a DM, go for it. I'd love, and I can give you some feedback on uh, if, uh, so I can actually see you, you know, and see if your, your super belly with support is working. And if you're, if you're connected to the fourth wall and it's a lot of layers, a lot of layers. Oh, I'm so glad that, that you guys are, our, our uh, understanding because it's a lot of information. It really is. Yes, yeah, Super Belly Button is is great and super inspired. I love you guys too. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so glad, Roseanne. That's what we're for. I'm just so happy to share this information. So what's cool too is the information of the acting, which we did last week really intensely, and then connecting it to all this technical stuff, the two together, that's what makes it revolutionary because you guys do it. It's yours. It's yours to have. This fills in a lot of missing pieces. Yay, Chicane. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to hear that. What particular missing piece did, do you feel that you understand now? Is there anything in particular? Maybe not. Maybe it's just a, I think that for me, I think it's when I found out that B flat is the highest place I could go in my chest voice. Then it made me feel safer. I knew I had to have my support. You know, uh, Phil didn't teach me anything about technique like, like breath and support, but I had such a good technique at that point that I understood, oh, use your support for this, but just resonate in a different place. We are choosing where to resonate. And that is the difference. That's the difference. Breath and the support, always the same. And also, my friend Marsh Hansen, he helped me so much because I, I didn't know how to style, you know, for pop. And he, he sat with me and he helped me learn because he was in Les Mis with me. And he was a great pop singer. And he taught me the tricks of, of scooping and straight tone and how to add the vibrato and, you know, stylings, like real stylings. Uh, so that's been great, too. And, and then I have, you know, those of you who are pop singers, I have to teach you stylings of classical music, how... We, we have certain things we have to do in that style. So every style has their, um, has their basics, you know, that are important. Uh, JV, you are the dearest to hang with all the ladies here um, because I wasn't really uh, talking to you this whole time, but I'm glad that you understand what I was saying. That's great. The fourth wall special person. Yes. Thank you, Janet Wilson. Uh, that changed my life when I, Susan, these are Susan Batson's teachings that she gave me and, you know, they're, they're acting, uh, tools and, uh, they are powerful. They change everything. I've had students who don't sing on pitch and when they use personalization and fourth wall and they understand, they get the technical thing, suddenly they're telling a story and they, and it's magic. They sing on pitch. So it's, it's, uh, it's very magical for all of us. Uh, thank you, Kiara. No tricks or treats. Oh, you guys be safe out there tonight. Thank you, darling. I can't wait to see you too. It's been too long. Oh my gosh. So November 15 is going to be so special. I know a lot of you can't be in New York City, and I'm sorry for that. But hopefully, hopefully, I'll be in your town one day soon, even overseas. That's my plan. When my book comes out, I'm planning on doing a tour and meeting all of you guys. So this will be so fun. All right. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and night. And uh, 
go rock it out. We've done an hour and a half, 90 minutes. This is our longest one. I knew it would be. And uh, I'm just so proud of you guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on my Instagram page. You can always send me a video. I'm happy. I want to make sure you're safe and sound, you know. Um, so uh, we'll be in touch. All right. Lots of love to all of you. And uh, see you next week. See you for number 11. That'll be uh, next Monday. Okay. Lots of love to you all. Bye for now.